be the last and final flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, and it was due to arrive and land at Los Angeles International Airport on this day, September 21st, 2012, after a cross-country flight. Before touching down, Endeavour will fly over some of the California city's metropolitan areas and landmarks. NASA had retired all of its space shuttles, and California was chosen to receive one of them. Endeavour was the fifth and final space shuttle to be built, delivered to NASA in May 1991, and flew its final mission to the International Space Station in May 2011. While the air traffic controllers were directing arrivals and departures of airplanes in the air, the crowd was being controlled by the local police to make sure nobody gets hurt during this exciting moment of the Endeavour's arrival at the airport. Passing cars were curious and slowing down to take pictures of the crowd. Waiting on this side of the airport's south runways, the crowd got bigger every minute and we were excitedly waiting to welcome the Seattle's arrival. The spectators were here to grab one last look, take pictures, or record the arrival with their cameras ready, big ones or small ones, and even cell phone cameras. And then, Someone with binoculars pointed the shuttle from afar. At this point, Endeavour was still making its flyover rounds in Southern California, piggybacking a modified NASA 747 shuttle aircraft carrier. One of my acquaintances, Carl Danner, captured the flyover a distance from the Hollywood sign and the Griffith Observatory. And I'm taking a video of him. He's flying right over the Hollywood sign and Griffith Park Observatory. We would get our turn when it gets here. Endeavour would have a couple of passes over the Los Angeles International Airport. The first time would be the flyover of the North Runways, which some mistook for the actual landing. Others initially expressed disappointment, thinking that we were waiting at the wrong side of the airport. The crowd cheered when they realized it wasn't going to land, but instead went around to head back toward the South Runways. As the landing time got closer, the cops decided to close the street for vehicle traffic and this got us to freely move around in the middle of the street for the expected landing and arrival. But a car and a truck got in the way and stopped in the middle of the road. People were screaming to make the truck move out of the way, but this got nowhere and we just had to put up with it. Endeavour flew pretty close to where we were. After 20 years, 25 space missions, and more than 115 million miles in the space, Endeavour finally landed at Los Angeles. This is a historic moment that can only be read in the history books later on, and I am happy to be able to say that I was there for the final landing. The shuttle will now be prepared for about three weeks for its 12-mile trip atop the wheeled transporter to its final destination and permanent home, the California Science Center in Los Angeles, where it will be open for a close-up public viewing in a few weeks' time.